Peace. This is a meat and potatoes sushi production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is the power of visualization. Visualization is one of the main components that you're going to need for your magic to be successful. But here's where the problems come in. A lot of people make visualization hard and they treat it like it's calculus or trigonometry. You don't have to treat it like this. As a matter of fact, it's easier than one might think. You have to always keep this in mind. Anything you want, what's the first thing you start with? You start with visualization, whether it be with a young lady or a young man, or you're like, I'm tired of being broke. This would be the dream job for me or a good fit. And you start visualizing getting the job or being a part of the company or being involved in a relationship with that person. You want to know why you succeeded that? Because you just do. You don't think the worst case scenario. That's how powerful visualization can be. And when you're doing a path working, you have books by Path Working by Ted Andrews or Lucifer and the Hidden Demons. They're giving you this path working because they're really teaching you the first law of hermetics. You just don't know that. The first law of hermetics is be is basically this. This is the premise. The mind is all, the universe is mental. Now, you put aside the flowery words it all starts up here in your head and look at it like this okay you're dealing with earth which has a malkuth energy now what other planet is very powerful along with earth saturn that's why a lot of people do saturnian rituals because they want to kind of tilt the skills the scale so to be in their favor that's why they do it. That's where Kronos is at. That's where Zazel's at. That's where Satan is at. On Saturn. So when you're doing a ritual to kind of balance things out, you can do it in the hour of Saturn and you can work with someone like Kronos. And here's the thing. When you visualize, whereas here there's rules and restrictions, there's not that same thing on the other side. Trust me, I know. You can build a t entire cities along with your so-called castle or even a universe on the other side. Learned that from Marbos of the Ars Goetia. And one thing is, is that ye can't become gods. But here's the thing that they got working against you. They said, we're going to put you in the human body because that human body is going to get sick. It's going to get frail. It's going to get old. But once you perish, and especially if you know magic, is that you can come in any guise that you want. I remember one of my original students saw Lilith and Lilith appeared looking like Angela Bassett. Why is this important? Because people say, well, I didn't have that thought initially. Yes, but one thing about spirits and demons who are on the fourth and fifth dimensional plane, you may have had that thought months ago. And it's not so much Lilith, it's a lot of spirits will come to you in what you're comfortable with in the conscious state that you're in at that time. So I remember when you see, when you, I saw a family member, and of course they're old. But then when you see them on the other side, they're young. They look like they're in their 20s or their early 30s. And then you start understanding, okay, now I see why my grandfather wanted to be with you. Now I see why my uncle wanted to be with you. And if you're dealing with magic, this is where your shape-shifting can go to a higher level. Is that one person told me this who was a student. They said, when I saw you on the other side, I saw you and I didn't see you as human. So I, I was intrigued. So I said, okay, proceed. They said, I saw how you really looked with green eyes. Now, for those that don't know, green eyes is a marker for psychic vampires, just to be clear. And you can use visualization to have a form on the other side. 
whether it be Phoenix, Griffin, etc. I know. One other person told me, they sent me over there, they said, well, you was a lot younger. So I'm saying all this to say how powerful visualization is because whatever you start with as far as visualization here, it will be amplified on the other side. And I also want to throw this in. Not only will you be more youthful and more vigorous on the other side, you will have an army on the other side. If you're doing this correctly, you will have emissaries and armies on the other side. So that's the power of visualization. Here's an exercise you can do. Get a piece of paper and draw how you would look on the other side and then when you dream about it your subconscious will fulfill that on the astral plane so with that that is your meat and potato associate for the day i am the water alchemist you water my friends peace